Leafy are here with Team Evil Genius's Suppy, who just got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Parting. How you feeling, Kona? Uh, feeling a little bit bad about it because I was up 2-0 and I really think I could have won. And now he's in the finals, so I mean, I feel like I could definitely have been there. But you know, what happens is what, ha what happens. So it's unfortunate. So we got five questions here from Reddit. Uh, that we had submitted last night. So we're going to start off with a question from Software Engineer who asked, what is it like to be a Chinese American facing off against a Chinese national in front of a crowd of Chinese nationals? I mean, it was pretty crazy. Uh, it was the first match of BWC, so definitely pretty nervous there. And I had no idea how Calm was going to play because we had like no information on him. Um, but uh, basically, I could see the people in the background cheering for him like crazily. Anything, anything, or anything, anytime anything good happens for him, uh, I could see them and I could actually even hear them, you know, cheering really loud. Uh, so like when a bay link hit all my links, it would all go crazy. And after the first game, they were, you know, they were fanatic, they were going insane. Uh, next two games I ended up winning, but uh, every single time, you know, he fumbled my muters or whatever, I could see them in the background like cheering. But I think, uh, since I'm also Chinese American as well, like, they sort of supported me as well, so it was kind of it was a pretty cool experience. Now, can you speak Chinese? Yeah, I can speak a little bit of Chinese. So, were you at all tempted to do the interview afterwards in Chinese? Yeah, I feel like I really missed an opportunity to because the questions were easy enough for me that I could have answered it in Chinese. But he was asking them in English, so I just responded just in English. The punches. Yeah, and then now I feel like I should have, you know, spoken in Chinese afterwards. All right. So, part size Sasquatch asks, uh, why do you get so nervous before the events? Uh, I just want to say this to you, Sasquatch, because you like five owed me before. He five owed me before uh, BWC started. We were just practicing, and he was like, "Man, I'm so tipsy." And then he like five owed me, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is bad." Especially in my all sir group. But uh, he gave Sasquatch gave me some encouragement. He said, "Oh, last time I owned you in practice, you did really good at MOG." So. Uh, Ended up working well here. I, I, I took out all the Zerg in my group as well. Yeah. So, uh, Saibala wants to know, uh, six months ago, he was giving you an awkward interview. Uh, questions and casting impromptu show matches between you guys at a Microsoft store in Santa Clarita. Uh, now you're literally in the world's largest StarCraft II stage and taking out world-class players. So, how does it feel to have everything move so incredibly fast? Um, you know, it's kind of surreal, like, it doesn't really feel like it's actually happening. Like, I, I still feel like I'm the same person, you know? I'm still that person who, you know, just, like, plays for fun and, like, plays on my collegiate and start the team and, like, you know, just kind of casual. But, like, now, I mean, obviously, I'm competing, you know, at world winning. international events, yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely kind of kind of crazy experience for me, but I, I'm really enjoying it and uh, it's a lot of fun. So Effect701 asks, uh, how do you keep up with college in StarCraft? Because you're at Berkeley and uh, you're pre-med. So it's a lot of work in and of itself, let alone work to uh, be competing here. Uh, I mean, this semester has been a little bit tougher than before because now I'm on EG. Hopefully, I'm going to hunker down after this event and just like, study my ass off and hopefully do well in my finals uh, to maintain my good GPA. Um, but, you know, it all boils down to sort of just trying to time management, time manage, uh, manage your time well. And I try not to procrastinate too much, but I still, basically every day I will have like some YouTube spurts where I just go on YouTube and watch random things for like an hour. But uh, I'm trying to cut down on that. So, you know, just keep up on your schoolwork, try not to get behind, and uh, try not to procrastinate. All right, and finally, Son of Spades wants to know how you found the tournament so far from the player's perspective. Because you guys have been like really sequestered in, uh, behind the stage as opposed to most tournaments like MLG where people are coming up to you all the time. Yeah, this tournament, uh, I mean, it was really nice, uh, a lot of the accommodations that Blizzard gave us. Um, so one of the things they had was catered food, for example, so we didn't have to search for food, and the food they gave us was actually pretty good, so that was not bad. Uh, also, the hotels they gave us were just amazing. Yeah, they're really, really awesome. Uh, so that was really nice. Uh, one of the bad things about it is... Um, the player pits are really, really dark. It's like pitch black in there, so you like strain your eyes really badly when you're looking at the monitor. Um, and other than that, yeah, I mean, 
were a little bit isolated, so didn't get to interact with, with as many fans as maybe I would have liked to. But uh, overall, I think Blizzard had some really good accommodations to make the players happy. Awesome. Well, you want to wrap up with sponsor shoutouts? Yeah, um, I just like to say thank you to all my fans and thank you to my team, Evil Geniuses, uh, and a huge shout out to all of our sponsors, uh, including Raid Call, Intel Extreme Board, Steel Series, Monster Energy, Kingston HyperX, Sapphire, Beyond Gaming, and Inwin. Thank you guys so much, um, and thank you guys for bringing uh, Leaf Eater here for uh, Reddit coverage. Thank you, Conan.